How's it going, pumpkin heads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to Don't Starve. So, last time we started a new adventure with Wendy because Wolfgang just died because of cold. So, we are back at it with a brand new character. And uh, I actually found out something interesting about Wendy. Uh, while I was waiting for daytime to come so that I could re start the recording again, I noticed that Abigail's flower was no longer closed. It's now open. And whenever I click it to look at it... That's a little unsettling. Because I'm not sure exactly how happy... Abigail is with Wendy. I don't know what the uh okay, so rabbit just came right out there. I'm not sure exactly how their relationship was or whatever before Abigail died. If Abigail blames Wendy for the fact that she died, I don't know. So this will be interesting. So, we need to go find some gold so that we can make our science machine. Hello. Okay, the parrot doesn't say anything. Oh. Cursed lands. Um, anyway. It's a ring thing. Hey, whoa, whoa, B. I ain't got no beef with you, man. So we are still looking... Oops. We are still looking for materials that we need to build our science machine. We're going to try to get the science machine up and running, hopefully, this episode. But that is all dependent on how cooperative the game wants to be. If it wants to give me the things that I... Well, hello. Gunpowder and cut stone. Okay. If it wants to give me the stuff I need, like my gold deposits or something... Okay, I just looked down at the at the flower and saw that it was completely open. Abigail is ready to play, but she needs some space. I don't know what that means. I don't like the fact that I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see. Um, guess let's try going this way again. We'll have to go back through the cursed lands. An eye bone! Chester! Hi, buddy. Here you go. We finally got a Chester, guys! Uh-oh. Ow.
Okay. So. We finally have a Chester, so that's cool. So I don't have to worry about needing a chest just yet. Because now I have a walking chest. And Chester can help me with my... With my, uh... Creatures that I trap. Because he can just hold on to stuff for me. In fact, I'm going to keep everything that's not a tool inside Chester. Alright, let's add some fuel to the fire. Come here, Chester. Uh, here, you can have that. And that. And that. That. Uh, carrots I'll keep because I want to have those. Logs I'll keep because I'm going to need those. You can have the flint. And... Okay. Come here, Chester. There you go. That's a good buddy. Alright. Cool. This just made things slightly easier. Because I already got my inventory management taken care of. So, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Says Abigail's ready to play, but she needs some space. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So, okay, nothing's happening so far. Like, does that get worse or I just heard something. Okay, that was a tree growing. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so which way haven't I gone? It looks like there's some more rock formations down this way if I follow the path. So maybe down this way I'll find some gold. I have a lot of rabbits and traps. Which is fine. Yes! This is perfect. If there's enough gold formations here, or gold deposits, I can make my alchemy engine and my science machine all in one go. Awesome. Oh, Chester. Good boy, Chester.
you hold all that stuff for me. Man, these deposits are only yielding one gold per per one. That's not that helpful. I mean, I guess I can't be too picky. I am still getting gold. Actually, I think I just had it. I have enough to do it now. Because I think it's it's six gold to make an alchemy engine, and one gold to make a science machine. So I have enough stuff to do it. I think, especially with all the rocks that I'm I have Chester holding. I guess the last thing I need to do then is to, uh, hey, Chester, here. There we go. Last thing I need to do is grab a bunch of logs so that way I have, I have those for fuel for fire and also so that I have them for creating my machines. I love Chester. I, I want a Chester, like a real one. Twigs, axe, store. This is perfect. Just got to make sure that I have enough logs, not only to create my machines, but to make sure that I have fuel for my fire. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Bunch of logs. Plant the pine cone because I don't want it in my inventory. All right. Should be good. I think 18 logs is pretty decent. So let's harvest these berries so that I have more food on the way back. Grab these carrots. Uh, oh, right. On my way back to camp, I'm going to grab the rabbits out of those traps. I'll reset them later because it's getting really close to nighttime. All right, so fuel to the fire. And then. Food? Hey Chester, 
I need those rocks, buddy. Alright, so there's our science machine. And. Oh, right. I need logs and cut stone to make the alchemy engine. I need four boards. I don't have enough logs to make board to make four boards. Well, I do now. So, one, two, three, four boards, and one, two cut stone, and we have our alchemy engine. Check it out. Progress done. All right. Well, I think this is as good a place as any to go ahead and call it for today. So next time, we will begin to prepare for the long haul in the way of preparing for a uh, winter with Windy. So we will be beefalo hunting, colophant hunting, and spider hunting. Once I get to the point where I can make a spear and make sure that she can't die very easily to things because apparently she can't hit very hard. But that'll all be next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pumpkin Patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.